Uh, greetings and welcome to our weekly educational rounds here at Seclair. My name is Jim Ellermeyer. I'm a behavioral health therapist. Today I'm joined by two of my colleagues. On my left would be... Stacy. Who is? A PA student from the University of Mount Union. Then on my right... Uh, Tim, a mental health counselor here. At Seclair. And Seclair is an integrative holistic psychiatric facility located outside of Del Monte, Pennsylvania, where we make specialize in treating people, not necessarily diagnoses. And it's our purpose every week to bring something into your life that perhaps you could use to enhance it. So, have you ever ridden on a bus, Stacy? Yes. Yeah, how about you, Tim? Uh, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. So, the idea is. What we're talking about today is this bus and whether we're going to be a driver or a passenger. So, Tim, tell me, when you want to get to Pittsburgh, do you just get on any bus? No, no, because I know I end up in a place I don't want to be. Right, right. So, on every, on every bus in the front, there's a what, Stacy? A window. <clears throat> there's, a, there's a window, and right above it, it says there's a destination. Is, mm -hmm. there, is there not? Yes. So... Sometimes when we run through life and we don't have a destination on our bus, that means we'll, so we have a direction, Tim. So if there would be a destination sign on your bus, what would that be? Mm, contentment. Contentment, yeah. cool. And uh, Stacy? Anywhere. Anywhere, <laughs> okay. So the idea is to, to, to what's the destination sign on your bus? And I would, my guess is out there that most people have one that's undefined or it's vague. Okay, so when we're on a bus, have you ridden on public transportation, Tim? I avoid it at all costs. Have you ridden on public <laughs> yes, transportation? Yes, I have. Okay. And <laughs> Stacy? Yes. Like in maybe a taxi, a bus, an airplane, a subway, something like that? I had a driver pick me up and take me to the airport. Mm -hmm. That counts. Cool, well, of course. Public transportation. Of course. So when you keep on public transportation, Stacy, do you pick the passengers that are on that bus with you? Nope. And quite often, Tim, there's maybe some undesirable oh, yeah. individuals on those buses, okay? Indeed, indeed. So, let me ask you this. When you're on a bus, and it has a direction, who picks the direction on the bus? Is it the passengers, or is it the driver? It must be the driver. Well, of course it is. Who has their hands on the wheels, Stacy? The driver. Right. And my challenge to everyone out there is, do you have the... Do you have your hands on the wheel, the steering wheel of your life? Or sometimes what we do is we allow the passengers on our bus that we have to hijack it. Do we not? Yeah, they're pretty unruly. They can be unruly. Mm -hmm. So what, 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 would some of these pass what would some of these passengers be, Stacy? Maybe what, would, what, what, would, what are some of the things in your life? What are some of the passengers? What are some of the baggage that people carry along with them? Anxiety. Anxiety. Guilt, Ooh. fear of the unknown. Yes, there's a lot of that on my bus. Guilt, shame. Yeah, they were on there. Those, those things. Regret. Maybe, mm, maybe. I don't have any regrets on the bus. Well, they, they, some people can. Yeah, you could. Some have people them. can. So the idea is, is to be able to identify and label these unruly passengers on your bus that is that basically your life mm -hmm. that perhaps are hijacking your destination. Okay, maybe they're taking you to a destination. And remember, you have a choice as to whether to listen to these passengers or not. Do you not? Yes. Okay. So the idea is, Tim, is to label and identify these passengers on your bus that perhaps are a bit unruly. Okay. So I can let them off. That right, correct. So we're compassionate kind of people, are we not, Stacy? Yep. So you're not going to throw these people off of a off of a moving. So what we do here at Seclair is sometimes this is where the mindfulness aspect comes mm -hmm. in, Tim, where we can slow down, pay attention, what's right in front of us, it's right here and it's right now, and then we can identify those passengers and learn the skills and techniques in order to let them go. Okay? Sometimes we can't let those passengers go, can we, Stacy? No. So, so then what would we do, Tim? We practice radical acceptance. We know that they're there. Okay. Mm -hmm. However, what we do is we take the power away from them and take the choices back into our life. So, however, there are there are some nice passengers on your bus, aren't there, Stacy? Of course. Uh huh. And these would be your gifts, your attributes, your talents, mm -hmm. your abilities. Yep. Okay. So, what do we want to add to, Tim? We want to add to and reinforce 
those gifts, talents, and abilities, those, those good passengers, those beneficial passengers that help us get to the destination. I like that idea, Jim, so I can bring more good things onto my bus and make less room for the noisy, absolutely crowded, crowded people. So too often what we try to do, uh, Stacy, is we concentrate on the negative passengers and we try to delete them and we try to eliminate them. Where if we identify and label the good passengers, the ones that are beneficial to us in our destination, on our life, that make it more comfortable driving, then we want to we want to stop and pick up more of them, don't we? Add to and reinforce those things. And soon, when we when we get the people, when we get enough of those on our bus, when we begin to add more positives, those negatives will naturally naturally move to either to the end of the bus or they'll or they'll get off. They'll decide to get off. Yes. Maybe. Yes. <clears throat> However, what this requires, Stacy, is action and effort. Correct. Yep. Okay. Tim, do you want to be a passenger? Or do you want to be a driver? Uh, with your life. Oh, I'm going to drive it. Yeah, okay. Definitely. That's a choice, is it not? Mm-hmm. Okay. So the idea is that, although it, quite often, Stacy, it's fun to get in a car and just drive. Right. Mm -hmm. when, and without knowing where we're going, it's kind of a relaxing... Uh, it's freeing, yeah. Yeah, it's Liberating. Freeing. Liberating, sure. However, have, how many of you ever met people without a real destination sign on their bus with destination in their life? Of course. Mm-hmm. Quite often, many of these individuals have had their life hijacked by the passengers on their bus. Uncertainty, fear, anxiety, worry, depression, those type of things. Okay. So, do buses require maintenance, Tim? Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you want them to perform the way they're supposed to. Correct, sure. correct. So, when your bus needs maintenance, where do, where do you go? Well, who, who takes care of it? You go to a... Mechanic? Mechanic, correct. So the mechanic can check the oil, they can make sure that everything's functioning properly, and help you along your way. That's an assist, right? Yeah. Okay. So and in the same way in your own life, when you find that things are getting a little bit out of control, perhaps the engine in your life's not running quite as smoothly as you'd like it to, you don't take your mind uh, to a mechanic, do you? No. no. You take it you take it to another type of mechanic. You can take it to an individual who perhaps mm -hmm. can help you with some molecules and some some uh, some type of therapy where here at Seclair we ask people to allow us to help them help themselves. Indeed. We what we do is we try to give people an instruction manual for their life that they that they can that they can write themselves. Right, and it's more empowering for them to be able to Indeed. see Indeed. results that are organic and from them. And what we try to do is help people get a license to, to drive, a license to in their life. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't it be nice if you had a if you had an operator's manual for your life and you yeah. had to and you had to have a license in order to navigate through your life? If you had to be qualified? Yeah. So that's my challenge out there for everyone today. To Grasp the wheel of your life, take some time and identify the passengers that may be on your bus that are a bit unruly or may be holding you back from your destination. And as always, what we do every week is we offer a free prescription, which is fruits, nuts, and vegetables, unplug your television, and perhaps take up fishing. And for a truly mindful, ice fishing, ice fishing, <laughs> we will be ice fishing. And for a truly mindful experience, we ask that you fish without bait, a lifetime without definitive expectations. Until then, as always, I ask you to do a kindness for yourself, do a kindness for another, forgive yourself, and forgive another today. Namaste.